Yeah guys, what's going on? It's me, your outro NC in the place to be. NC In the place to be NC So, um, yeah, on this video I'm gonna show you a great thing. Um, I got here, like you can see, a PCI Express GPU from AMD. Um, these are mostly uh, GPUs, graphics cards, um, from, or we can say, some special notebooks that are really powerful. So I got here a notebook from um, Alienware. And uh, yeah, the thing is, this graphics card here um, just has some uh, pixel errors. So um, this graphics card here one day run a lot hot. And uh, when the cooling is not that really great... Um, the GPU, uh, yeah, will run very hot. So um, you got here, like you can see, the chip itself, and um, this is the die. We can say this part here needs to be always very good cooled, otherwise um, it will overheat with the time. So um, the thing is, on this um, we can say special uh, GPUs for uh, powerful notebooks, like uh, this one here. The cooler sometimes doesn't sit perfectly over there. So um, sometimes you just have the half of the die with a great pressure. Um, and when you just have, we can say, on the half of the die uh, a great pressure, uh, so the other half, of course, will run a bit hotter. And this uh, will bring you, with the time, a lot of problems. So it begins with some texture errors and pixel uh, errors. And yeah, this can uh, go till it will, we can say, completely overheat. Um, the thing is also, you got, we can say here, uh, the RAM chips, like you can see. And over here too. Uh, the thing is, when you have uh, GPUs like that, um, you have mostly also a big cooler here, which is go, we can say, to the fan. Um, sometimes people just open it and they just, we can say, um, yeah, build it wrong together. So you got here a lot of thermal pads and they will, yeah, need to be really uh, fixed perfectly over there, otherwise... Uh, you will also have here a bad cooling. Um, yeah, now uh, to my problem, we can say to uh, a problem that a lot of people maybe will have in the case when your GPU is overheated. So, yeah, when your GPU is overheated, you will maybe look for a new one because a notebook like this Alienware here is, we can say, very expensive. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And, um, yeah, you can get, uh, you can say, good used one on eBay for, I think, about uh, 150 uh, euros or 250 euros. Um, you can buy, again, a great PCI Express uh, GPU. Um, yeah, maybe uh, in dollars, it's about, uh, let's say, about 160 dollars. You can, f you can find the uh, AMD um uh, GPU which is really powerful otherwise you can buy also a um, GPU from Nvidia and uh, my yeah for me uh, I personally uh, love Nvidia but uh, AMD uh, has also great uh, graphics cards so the thing is when you have found uh, we can say use it GPU that you want to install back to your notebook um, you will have some problems, maybe, not on all notebooks, but on some notebooks, um, the GPU, we can say, is just made for the notebook itself. So that means when you have buy a used one from another notebook or whatever, and um, you will install it, then maybe you will have a problem um, that it will not work. So, um, for the people that has maybe buy, uh, we can say, new GPU or a used one, for these people, uh, 
this video here is made for <laughs> because um, I will now tell you one thing that is really uh, we can say important and very great um, when you have by a used GPU and you install it back to your notebook it may will not work and uh, the reason is easily so a lot of people maybe think uh, yeah the GPU that you have by it the use it one or whatever one uh, is maybe broken but it's not uh, the thing is when you install your GPU or a user GPU back to your notebook uh, it can happen that the notebook begins to beep like beep 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 or whatever um, so there are a few problems it can be that uh, uh, we can say PCI Express slot um, is maybe uh, we can say one pin or whatever is wrong or broken this will give you also an error I will not try to focus you how small these contacts are so that you can take a look what I mean here we go okay these are all the contacts that uh, the notebook is needed here all these contacts are needed if just one pin from the PCI Express slot is broken um, it will make we can say you problems yeah guys and before I forget to tell you on some uh, GPUs you got also here the we can say like this one here the resistors on some models they are a bit thinner and you can also uh, we can say find the same GPU but with other um, resistors so sometimes the GPUs has we can say uh, thinner resistors and other ones has the we can say bigger resistors and uh, maybe you will have some problems um, to uh, we can say put the heat sink back on sometimes you will have problems to put the cooler uh, back to because sometimes the cooler has not uh, the space or the cooling size that you will need for the other graphics card because these resistors are higher yeah I had need to uh, modify this cooler because otherwise it will not fit that great inside like it was before so that's why I will show you now some pics and yeah here we go MSC in the motherfucking place to be yeah and the other thing is also um, when you have we can say uh, use it GPU and you want to uh, put it back uh, the thing is the GPUs uh, they are flash it uh, we can say uh, just for the notebook which was we can say made for so this AMD uh, GPU here was made just for this notebook and when you now get a new one and you just install it back you will maybe have some problems just like on this one um, this happens to a lot of notebooks not all but some notebooks um, yeah they are they are made like that that you uh, will not be able to install a user GPU back to the notebook uh, the reason is easily uh, a lot of people maybe doesn't know but uh, that's why I do this video now for you guys um, you got here also we can say a BIOS chip uh, which tells the GPU uh, the bootloader and 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 a lot of things um, the BIOS chip uh, looks mostly like this one okay this is just a chip where the BIOS is installed and here is we can say a small K which tells the notebook that it can work with <laughs> yeah that's crazy um, 
so that's why I do this video for you guys because a lot of people maybe has tried um, to get a new GPU and they was maybe wondering why the new one or maybe the used one is not working. Um, this is just easy. You just need to remove this BIOS chip here and then you will need to replace it on the next one. So the GPU but, uh, which you have by it new, um, you will need to uh, yeah replace the BIOS chip too. Not only the graphics card, you will need also to replace the BIOS chip. So I will now uh, just show you because I have already um, desoldered the BIOS chip and I have just placed it in that you can see. Before you do this. Um, you should also notice and remember where this uh, point is. That means this dot here means the position uh, which you should sold it back again. So here also you can see um, you got here, wait, wait, wait. So you got here also a sign, a symbol. Um, which tells you the position of the BIOS chip. Yeah, and like I told, when you remove the BIOS chip, you will need to take care uh, how you solder it back. Okay, like this, it should be again. So, after you have changed the BIOS chip to, mostly the GPU will work again like it should work. Yeah, guys, and before I forget how to uh, remove a BIOS chip, uh, you can see it on the description. I will put you a um, video link uh, where you can also see how easily you can remove a BIOS chip uh, and how to replace it back again. So this was just a short video for you guys that you know if you got a hardcore notebook like this one here. <laughs> And uh, if you got, we can say, a powerful notebook where you had maybe a GPU problem, now you know what to do if you want to buy a used one or a new one. Um, sorry also for my voice because I'm a little bit sick. Uh, Ultra NC is always a sick guy, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I wish you a great time. Um, I hope this was, uh, yeah, we can say, very informative for you guys. And uh, like I told, this uh, GPU here has, uh, we can say, some graphics errors. This happens because under there the chip is overheated and you got under this chip a lot of contacts. Uh, yeah, you could try to, uh, we can say, to, um, let's say, reflow it with a lot of flux. Uh, like I also, uh, also made a lot of times on the PlayStation 3s. Or you can also uh, completely take out this chip and reball it just professionally. And um, sometimes you can find this uh, also, uh, yeah, we can say you can let it repair for about uh, 60, 70 or 80 euros. But um, yeah, the most people prefers, of course, to buy a great used one. Okay, guys, uh, that was me, NSC in the place to be. <laughs> Take care and stay tuned to my channel. I wish you a great time and uh, we see us soon again. I will make, I will make one, two uh, videos more in the next days, I hope, because uh, I got no time. But uh, I'm still here uh, for you guys and still back for you guys <laughs> and still alive. God, thanks. But I'm, uh, yeah, like I told, a bit thick. I'm really a bit sick, but yeah, I'm always sick, you know that. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, la di da -di, we like to party, you know what I mean? And so, <laughs> yeah, peace. See ya, bye-bye, and uh, take care. And see, in the place to be, and see.